MP fans starting the pyro now before the game. The pyro starts here as well. This is nothing short of beautiful, man. Oh. Oh. underrated football derby. Basically nobody outside of this country even knows about it, but experts do know it's among the fiercest rivalries on the continent. Welcome to Copenhagen guys, behind me the iconic park and stadium, the biggest in Denmark. And today we got commentary tickets to what some call the new firm, Copenhagen against Brøndby. Not only are they the two biggest and most successful clubs in Denmark, with FCK winning 15 league titles and Brøndby taking home 11, they're also the fiercest enemy. <laughs> This rivalry had a unique birth. In the late 1980s, two historic Copenhagen giants, KB and B1903, were slowly falling behind. While their fans had to witness a club from the suburbs of Copenhagen that they detested taking over Danish football. As a reaction, in 1992, KB and B1903 merged into FC Copenhagen to fight this Brøndby dominance, and their fans started to call the new club Plastic. Nicknamed Battle for Copenhagen, which can be taken literally, violent clashes, brawls and attacks are a regular thing. Both clubs' ultras have formed alliances with power Powerful fan bases from abroad. Brøndby partnered with Dortmund, while Copenhagen are friends with Hamburg. And that's why we are here today as well, lads. Behind me, the Parkin Stadium might be the most iconic I've ever seen. This has it all, man. Here, the iconic Section 12, the old trans of FC Copenhagen. They are the fiercest fans, both stands, lower and upper stands. And here behind me, we have the Brøndby away fans, but they are fierce. Coming in with Pyro already half an hour before kickoff. This is literally mental. You can feel the hatred between these already the game hasn't even started yet so i have to grab a beer let's go down to our seats and in the second half we will actually be going pitch side baby so much going on in this video after the game we will do a little giveaway as well stay tuned so basically over here we have the brand beer away fans they're gonna be loud today man up top here is the club office actually and some vip lounges here the main stand here the press area where we are and the main stand as well and here we actually have what's dubbed by some the best restaurant in the world it's a crazy vip experience and the most important section 12 the ultras of FC Copenhagen, upper stand and lower stand, they are gonna be super low today. I'm telling you now guys, this game might very well be a contender to top our atmosphere ranking of this season. Let's see. Little has V logo there in the ultra section 12 as well. We love to see this. That's why we support the boys. And here you already guessed it as well. They had to close off the block here, this side from the block and this side of the block as well, because it's a high risk game. Can't have any home fans here next to the away fans. Whenever that happens in the derby, you know it's heated. The interesting thing is that within the Brøndby away fans, there will be some Dortmund fans because they are friends. And within the Copenhagen fans, of course, has home fans in the block. There was a lot of Hamburg fans traveling with us from Hamburg to here in the train. And uh, yeah, they support each other always in these games. Home fans singing, away fans singing, football culture is on, baby. Brøndby fans starting the pyro now before the game. It's kicking off with the players coming out as well. And there we have the FCK players coming out. And the pyro starts here as well. Look at this one, Capo here in the middle, waving the flare and everything else covered in white and blue smoke, bro. Bring it on. Stadium covered in smoke, man. You might not be able to see the Copenhagen fans, but you can hear them. The same goes for the away fans. This is football outside just the top five leagues. You can go, you can experience incredible atmospheres if you go beyond that, just the top five. And the chants go end to end. They sing, they respond, and they respond with pyro. They sing, it's just they're, they're heating each other up here. Game on, let's go! It's still a bit foggy, but about 10 minutes after the expected kickoff, the game can finally be started, man. Bring it let's on. Let's go! Hey! That was a pen, bro! Copenhagen fans demanding a penalty there, and from here it looked like a penalty as well. Yeah, they check, they check. No penalty. This is so good, man. Lower stand and upper stand with Ultra singing. This should be in every stadium, man. Oh! Oh my god! Almost 1 0, man. What a chance there was. Ay, ay, ay. Fans pushing each other from stand to stand. The chants are great, man. Oh! Oh, now come on, be here. Oh! Hey. Oh! This game is end to end right now. Only a matter of time to some 
But this is the perfect moment to add the game on Memento. As someone who goes to many football games in different countries, this might actually be my favorite app at the moment, because it lets you track all the matches you've attended. They've got pretty much any football competition in the world with all the stats for your games. I tracked that magical comeback at Bernabeu, Frankfurt against Barca, Milan at San Siro in the Champions League. But they even have all the smaller leagues and other sports as well. Every match turns into a so-called Memento and it basically becomes your own football memory book. Memento is free to download, the link is in the description. Spoiler, make sure to already follow me on there, at Fiago, so you can see every game I've been to. And after the match, I'll tell you what those who do follow can win. The first half has been mad heated and now we have to hurry up actually to go down to the pitch, be at the sideline in time for the second one, baby. That's we're entering the pitch now and there's a penalty check. We were out for like five minutes and in the meantime, a penalty happened? Second one. No penalty. Half time lads, players walking in here into the dressing room now. And to get to the area where we will be in the second half, we will have to pass the Brumby away fans. I do have my Copenhagen scarf here, of course. I'm gonna hide it though, because I don't want them to throw things at me while I pass them. <laughs> Look at this view, man. Players literally warming up right in front of us as well. What is this? It's just mental. We are literally pitch side wearing a TV jacket. I've never had this before. I've never had this in my life. Mental. Second half kicking off now, lads. Oh my god, and the pyro is there again as well. Oh, they're literally just in front of us. What is this? Nah, this is meant to go. I've never been so close to pyro and I swear it's getting hot here as well, especially wearing a jacket. You can feel the heat from the pyro. This is the dream of every football heritage enthusiast. I'm still freezing. Yeah, he's still freezing. Bro, I'm so hot now. And it's also hot because of the pyro. But now there's a bumpy corner right in front of us and right in front of the Copenhagen fans. And they are not having this man. Insulting the player. Bro. To witness this heat so close, us as well, used to play in La Liga, is so mad, man. He's taking the corner now. Oh. Well, I don't know about you, but I smell a last minute goal here in this game. This would be, this is to top it off. Cherry on the case, man. Smells like Copenhagen win. Just beautiful. Game over, lads. Before we rank this experience, let me quickly capture a selfie to celebrate this momento. What an insane experience, literally pitch side in the second half as well. I can only imagine how this would have been if there was actually a goal. It was nil nil still, chance all the time, pyro. I've never seen so much pyro in a single game. Well, I literally just met community members as well in the stands who wanted to take a picture with the players, but also with me. I appreciate you guys. Hey, this was one of the best days of my entire life. What a game this was. Now walking literally on the pitch here, just mental bro. Just mental, man. Wow, after coming out of the stadium here and processing this a little bit, I have to say, personally, maybe my best, coolest stadium experience I've had so far. I think Flo thinks the same. In terms of the atmosphere, I have to rank it second place, and that's insane, right? Just minimal, minimal distance to the Panathinaikos fans on second place, which is a huge, huge achievement. Copenhagen, you were incredible. Brumpy fans, respect as well. Silver medal 2023-2024 goes to the Copenhagen Derby. And now this video does not stop giving. I promise you there will be a surprise giveaway. You can actually win a mystery match-worn football shirt of a European top club sorted by Momento. All you have to do is hit the link in the description, download Momento, create an account, and to celebrate the friendship between Hamburg and Copenhagen, the first 1,887 to follow me on Momento at Fiago will be in the raffle for this match-worn football shirt from a European top club. Copenhagen was amazing, and now, as always, you decide where should I go next.